Hello, y'all. I'm back. So, I just um, had to use the bathroom really bad. Um, that's why I had to cut the video short because I couldn't hold it any longer. But um, this, I might as well do a different topic because this is bothering me. Like, I feel like I'm in hot water or in trouble with a lot of people and a lot of things, and I'm very scared. I shouldn't be scared shouldn't be afraid to fight the devil, you know, all these wicked people who think they have the God-like authority to quote-unquote punish me and stuff like that, like, look at this, but the whole time, I, the short time I went to go use the, go potty, what ha I mean, um, there was no loud vehicles, no noise, or no nothing, you know, but because I'm doing a video, they have these distractions, so, I mean, um, Like, from Friday's fright, I mean, that, um, that little situ that, that wasn't a little situation, but that beating that happened, the only violence that's not even violent, you know, but the only defense that I did was, um, me wrestling my phone, you know, trying to keep the, my phone when that girl tried to wrestle it, wrestle it out of my hand. But I'm kind of scared because, you know, I was scared to go to jail and I didn't want to touch anything. I was, I, I freaked out when she touched, when she put her hands on me, you know, when she first spit on me, you know, and I me having no place to go take a shower. The beach, I can't go to the beach because after Hurricane, Hurricane Sally, everything cracked. I just heard that some of the homeless shelters got messed up by um, Hurricane Sally. I mean, oh, just coronavirus and Hurricane Sally together is like the worst devil, you know, I might have to be forced to cave in and pay for a gym membership just to keep clean, you know, and, and which I hate because I don't like contracts, you know, so um, I'm scared, they have that, the police gave me a case number, I'm scared, I'm just letting y'all know I'm so scared, I'm too scared to um, deal with the police, dealing, dealing with the courts and stuff. And um, I'm feeling highly nervous. Like, I was supposed to have called them, but I don't have the guts to. I don't, I mean, to press charges. And, and that case number um, th that officer gave me, I'm, I'm just too scared to even call up and pursue anything. Um, but I'm also having fears that if I don't go and pursue anything, they might punish me or, or jail me or something. Um, you know, I'm, I'm scared to deal with law enforcement and stuff because of traumatized, traumatized since foster care. Um, I didn't realize I was a targeted individual even in high school. Y you know, me being traumatized by and hating the police. And I thought it was just a personal thing. I didn't realize this was gang stalking or that the police were Freemasons and connected with Illuminati and a New World Order. I know a, a lot of people despise police, but I mean, just like they despise the, um, our wicked government and stuff, but I never put two and two together and realized this was all a great conspiracy or whatever. Um, and I know there are certain Bible scriptures that speak against despising government, but this government is too wicked. You know, I mean, I guess the Bible was written to um, with the intent that the government was supposed and the powers that be was supposed to be good and not evil. But now the tables are turned and um, it's just really bad, you know. So um, I'm just feeling super nervous. I don't even want to. I'm scared. I'm like, I don't even want to pursue, deal with um pursuing press pressing charges um it was like I, I was it was like as if I had to make a quick decision but then the cops would have made it like as if I waste their time um if I decided to not press charges I mean if I would have said no you know <laughs> but they put the girl in handcuffs but I don't know if she actually went to jail 
but uh, people said they haven't seen her in a couple of days and stuff like that, you know. I try to be nonviolent and stay away from people and stay to myself, you know. And I remember back, I made a police report when all my stuff got stolen. I need to do a whole different, another video on that one with the, um, with, when I, I mean, when nobody was there to help me when I was in Santa Monica and all my stuff got stolen and the police didn't care and then they blamed it on me <clears throat> and just, and then nobody cared at all. And that's another topic I need to talk about. I mean, it's not immediate, but it's something I would like to share with y'all, um, to talk to y'all about and stuff like that. So... You know, I'm just feeling traumatized still, and um, <clears throat> like last night wasn't, in the middle of the night wasn't good, you know, me having to use the bathroom, and it was like that in Santa Monica too, um, in 2018 when I was there for that short time after the Grand Canyon, and I, will, I didn't realize that they were, you know, hitting me with energy weapons. I mean, I was at the beach at the time, sleeping on the beach at night, and people were warning me against how dangerous it was, but I had no place else to go because even then, there were no shelters available, you know, in Los Angeles because increase in homelessness out there. But um, I thought that I would have enough money from my job that I worked at, you know, to just take a little vacation back in my temporary hometown, <laughs> Los Angeles, for, you know, I thought I was going to be able to vac vacation there from the work, the little work that I did, you know, and it turned out to not be good at all, you know, so, I mean, when they hit you with the energy weapons and you got to pee so bad and you avoid, try to avoid peeing on yourself and stuff. So that's another reason why I try to um, guard my stuff and guard my spot and guard myself and everything, you know. So um, it's, it's like, and, and then the gang stalkers at my current sleep spot, you know, they want to be a certain distance close by my potty spot. And they want to make, it's like they want to watch me urinate. Like, they use the energy weapons and wake me up out of my sleep and cause me to have to just run because I'm about to pee on myself when I just wake up and um, can't even make it over there. have to walk, like, almost a block distance or whatever and try to try to run to um, and, and can barely make it. And I have on a, a bladder pad and me having a bladder pad on and still you know, get so much urine that it overflows and I still get pee on my pants and stuff. But it's not good when the weather is cold and um, like in under 50 degrees and stuff, like if I end up force urinated, they, I end up, um, it's like the, the urine and, and my pants start to freeze up and then stick to my legs and stuff. And then, like, even as of now, I can't change clothes or take a shower, nowhere to go, unless I pay for a gym membership, in which I don't want a contract. And then um, <clears throat> I end up having to, um, you know, you know, I don't want to be in, in, into more, I mean, debt or whatever, you know. <clears throat> so um, me having to just run to the bathroom I mean, I mean, you know, that potty spot. And, and, and so now it's like I have, um, like, a baby walking around with soil, wet pants with the um, forced urinary incontinence and me walking around like a, diaper, like a baby with a diaper rash. It's embarrassing. They want us to be so disabled and helpless so that they can control us more, you know. So, um... There was something else I wanted to say, but as always, you know, my mind is slipping my mind and stuff. So I think my storage space is about to run out anyway. So thanks for listening and bye-bye.